What is going on out there, fellas? It's your boy Ray, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about sodium hypochlorite, AKA bleach. So check it out. All right, so sodium hypochlorite. We're gonna call it SH for short. Now we're gonna talk about where to get the SH at, how to safely and efficiently transfer that SH over to our wash rig or whatever other tank we're gonna fill up, how to neutralize the pump so we can get the most longevity out of our transfer system. And we're gonna talk about some other stuff as well. So let's dive in. So now that I got this camera flipped around, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the whole sodium hypochlorite versus bleach verbiage i personally never tell my customers that i'm using bleach i tell them that i'm using sodium hypochlorite if they ask what we use that's what i tell them because we have a sds sheet for sodium hypochlorite we do not carry bleach on the truck we only carry sodium hypochlorite so that also keeps us out of a lot of weird situations because the word bleach can get you in in a negative light of the customer i don't know why that word just causes problems so i'm very clear about what we use sodium hypochlorite uh, also another thing is bleach i think has sodium hydroxide in it as well so uh, do your own research and make your own decision on that but moving on where do we get sodium hypochlorite and how strong of a sodium hypochlorite do we need now what you want to look for is going to be 12.5 percent sh and where i would recommend going and looking for sodium hypochlorite is getting on google calling up all of your local chemical distributor distribution centers and chemical suppliers and just start phoning and asking them hey i'm looking for 12.5 percent sodium hypochlorite and i need to get drums of it carboys of it or whatever some places will even uh, bring you an ibc tote like this and then come and deliver the sh to you so um, just kind of ride the wave on that until you know you get to where you want to be at with that so uh, next, I want to talk about how to transfer this. Now, I've used a lot of different transfer systems starting out early on. I just used this little uh, siphon snake where you literally can take this thing and drop it down into the, the jug and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth and it'll start siphoning out the other end. Now, that's a very uh, low budget startup way to transfer and it's very messy. Now, what we are using currently is the Finnish Thompson um, 17 gallon a minute electric pump. Um, just a little bit of information on this. It is an electric motor and we are using the S3 here, which is a 17 gallon per minute. Uh, and this pump will go through it really quick. It's very efficient and very safe. So I'm gonna also show you guys how it works while i'm talking to you one cool thing about this pump is it has a double speed motor so you can start out depending on what you're doing you can use low speed or high speed so that's a pretty cool feature there and all i did was run about a i don't know a 20 foot piece of 5 8 curry tech and threw me a little ball valve on the end now it does not have a pressure switch so you always want to make sure this is open but i just use that so i can close it when we're moving the hose back and forth to prevent any type of leakage now we're going to go ahead and fill up the bleach tank over here but before that i want to talk about how to preserve the life of this pump now what we like to do is mix up our own batch of neutralizer here and the way we did that is just took an empty 55 gallon drum filled it up with water and put five cups of this sodium disulfate you say the rest for me there but uh we put five cups of this in a 55 gallon drum here fill it up with water mix it up the best you can with a, a wooden handle or something like that and what we'll do is after we transfer the sh over to our um, sh tank on the truck then we'll come back pull our pump out of the sh tank and drop it into the 55 gallon drum and then run a little bit of that neutralizer through the pump and then once we see that the neutralizer is coming out we will actually just stick one side in one hole and we'll put the output 
in the other hole and just let it circulate through here because once the sh gets out of it it's just neutralizer so that way we're not using much of this so one bag of this will last us it's lasted us all season and here we are in october so anyway um, let's go ahead and hook this thing up and get it transferred So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a look at the flow this bad boy has. I mean, you can see it is definitely putting it out. It says 17 gallons a minute. I've never really checked it to clarify exactly how many, but uh, you definitely don't want to walk away from this thing because it'll fill this uh, this 50 gallon bleach tank, 55 gallon bleach tank, bleach tank up. Oops, I mean SH tank up pretty quick. So anyhow, just wanted to kind of give you guys a peek at, at the flow out of these Fender Thompson pumps. They're definitely the way to go in my opinion. I used to use a little 12 volts, um, even tried a little air compressor one time. Um, this thing's been running strong all season. We do neutralize it after each, each time we fill up, so that helps out, but yes, sir. So now that we've got our tank filled up, now we're gonna take care of our pump and make sure that we neutralize the SH that's running through it. So what we're gonna do is take our pump out of the SH bulk tank, let it drain out a little bit, and then we're gonna just transfer right over to our neutralizer tank. Now that we've done that, We'll just let it purge the line out. All right, now that the SH is out of it, we'll just stick this in, the hose in, into the other side of the drum. And we're just gonna let that, we're just gonna let that circulate for a minute. So while this thing is recirculating that neutralizer through the pump back into the tank, um, I'll go ahead and get our lids put back on because another thing with sodium hypochlorite is it is a gas so you want to make sure all your lids are always nice and tight that way everything's sealed up so you're not allowing that gas to seep out because what will happen is it'll degrade it'll it'll dilute your solution because of the gas escaping from the tank so you always want to make sure your tanks are non nice and tight uh, like I said this finish Thompson pump we want to protect it because these things are about $500 uh, $450 for one of these and um, you don't want to have to be replacing that very often now another option that I would recommend for guys that can't afford the finish Thompson pump is uh, the Remco fat boy this is the same pump that Jimmy Hall at Freedom Watch Systems uses on his double eagle box uh, these are great pumps so you can just get you one of those uh, to use to transfer SH or you can gravity feed a tank you can do anything that you see fit but this is what uh, we like to do so we're gonna just let that recirculate a little bit and yeah we're gonna get this thing wrapped up I hope you enjoyed the video if so please like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or anything that I missed 
drop them down in the comment section and I will be sure to check those questions and get them answered for you. So anyway, keep on hustling, keep on grinding and shining like a diamond. This is Ray, I'm out.